you ever wonder why there is a line on our hymn such as Ang Diyos, Ang Bayan, at Ang Tahanan? Well, today in our video presentation, we will witness the story of a man whose life is willing to sacrifice just for the love for his family, country, and God. I am Christian C. Celestino, your virtual tour guide to the life of a man inspired by hardship, sacrifices, and success. The life of Manuel G. Araulio. Manuel Gonzalez Araulio was born on January 1, 1853 at Balayan, Batangas. He was the son of Manuel Felix Araulio and Dolores Fernanda Gonzalez. His elementary education was at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila, the then public elementary school run by the Jesuits. He continued his study under the Dominican tutelage at the Colegio de San Juan de Letran where he obtained a philosophy degree. At the Universidad de Santo Tomas, he first pursued theology and later shifted to law. While a student, he was recognized for his essay, Labor Omnia Vincit, a Latin motto meaning work conquers all. By 1876, his studious effort was rewarded by a licentiate in law from the Universidad de Santo Tomas. The following year, he passed the bar and after a few months went to Spain to gain a doctorate degree at the Universidad Central de Madrid. By 1879, he went back to the Philippines and managed the estate of his father. His return marked the start of a fruitful career in the judicial service. For 10 years, he was the Relator de la Audencia de Manila. He was appointed to other positions such as Abogado Fiscal de Odensia de Manila, Fiscal Odensia Territorial at Cebu, Promotor Fiscal de Benondo, Magistrador Suplenario, and Letrador en la Indencia General de Haciendas of University of Santo Tomas. Such judicial experience caught the eye of the Dominicans and he was offered professorial chair at the Universidad de Santo Tomas. There, for four years, he taught Derecho Mercantil y Haciendas Publica until 1898. With the establishment of the American rule in Manila in 1899, Araulio was appointed Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. Later, he was appointed as Judge of the Court of First Instance, which has the jurisdiction over Tarlac, Pampanga, and Nueva Ecija. He was later transferred to Manila to preside at its court of first instance. His ruling over controversial cases earned him the just judge. In 1913, the Philippine Assembly created a code committee to help them in the revision and creation of the laws in the fields of civil, commercial, penal, and procedural matters. Araulio's name was at the forefront as he chaired over the committee consisting of American and Filipino legal luminaries. It was also in that same year when he was reappointed as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. On November 1, 1921, he was appointed as Chief Justice and served until his death on July 16, 1924.